if you were provided this question, just on the face of it, here's question, you know, eight, part A in an exam, and you just saw that, that's all you saw, okay? What would be your first instinct? What kinds of things can we do? Not, are they good ideas? Let's just think, what can we do physically? Yeah, sure. Yeah, so, okay, so I can come back to the first point you said. You've got all these factors, right? Uh, you've got sort of a factor here, but they don't seem to match up in any way, right? So therefore, uh, it's not a terrible idea to expand everything out and then cross your fingers that whoever wrote this paper uh, makes it all cancel out nice and neatly, okay? I'll just fast forward and sort of time travel for you and tell you it doesn't happen. Nothing works out nicely. On the left-hand side, count the number of factors, what kind of polynomial do you expect to get out the other end? It's a quadratic power, four, right? Now, you've got an x squared term here, and an x term, and a constant term, but they don't really accomplish anything nice and neat over on the left-hand side. You still end up with a messy quartic. So then we rewind, and we say, is there anything else I can do? Do we have any ideas apart from just expanding? Just give us a shot, Eric. Just throw something, let's see if it sticks on the wall. Maybe if you like, sort of half expand out that right-hand side and then factorize it a different way across it completely. Okay, so another version of this strategy is to say, look, this thing here looks a little more workable than this thing here. Like, I know this is gonna become this unmitigated disaster if I expand. This is somewhat tidy. Like, I maybe could do something with it, factorize it in another way. Uh, 5x squared plus 25x plus 18. I'm gonna give you a suggestion. Do you remember, um, I think yesterday one of the quadratics I gave you was, I don't know, something, something like this, right? And we looked at it and we immediately saw without any computation, don't bother factorizing this. And the big flashing clue was the seven, right? Now this is not the only clue that should tell you factorizing is a bad idea. If we just, because it'll just take us one second. If we just expand this, watch what happens. Uh, 5x squared plus 25x plus 18, is that right? Now, 5 times 18 is 90, 90, 90, 25, hmm, doesn't take you very far, does it? And here's the reason I know. I need to have something that's going to multiply to 90, right? But you can see the factors here are going to have to somehow fit into this, but none of them do. It's, it's not going to give you anything. So. Even if you went down this alley, it doesn't get you very much progress, okay? So again, I'm gonna rewind, and I'm gonna give you that clue I said at the beginning, which is that this comes in an exercise about equations that are reducible to quadratics, okay? Now, this does sort of stick out, doesn't it? What's that doing there, okay? This at least seems like someone made that up, but why is this separated out? That's why it didn't seem like a bad idea to expand it, okay? This thing here is the key. This guy is hiding over on the left-hand side. Actually, it's hiding there twice. Uh, we just need to be able to find it. Now, you can see if we did expand this, if we did expand this, expanding the whole thing would give us a quartic, okay? But you could expand them partially. You could expand, say, pairs. For instance, if you expanded these two, ju just these two, forget about the rest of them, okay? Uh, what would you get? You get x squared, plus plus 3x plus 2, wouldn't you? Because look, uh, there's the pair of numbers, they add to 3, they multiply to 2, so that's what you would get. x squared plus 3x plus 2, uh, that's easy to deal with, but it doesn't have anything to do with this, right? And of course, that's because this is not the only pairing up that I can do over here on the left-hand side. There are other things that I can pair. For instance, Instead of pairing up the x plus 2 with this guy, let's try pairing up the x plus 2. That's a bad choice of color. Let's pair up the x plus 2 with this guy. What will I get? You should recognize this. This is my favorite quadratic function of all time, OK? You're like, oh, wait, this thing, this thing is not the same, but it's clearly related to this, isn't it? And in the same way, if you have a look at what's left, if I use these two up, expanded those, then what I'm left with is these, these ones. What are they um, expanded to? 
x squared plus 5x plus 4. Are the gears turning yet? Do you see what we've done here? We have a clever choice of what's over here on the left because you can choose. This is the most important part. The most important part in a math problem is the choosing, not the actual computing, okay? If we choose these well, on the left-hand side, I'm gonna get this. Uh, what was the first one you gave me? Plus six, that guy from the middle two. And then this from the ends. Does that make sense? So this is the same as the first line. And what I have over here doesn't need to change. Okay. So now can you tell me a substitution? What should I, let's introduce a substitution like u. What should u be equal to? Yeah, there he is, one, two, three. He appears all of those times. So if I let u equal what you just told me, uh, tell me what's right on the next slide. u plus six, u plus four, equals, What have we done to our quartic? We have reduced it to a quadratic, and I reckon you guys can take over from there. Okay, in fact, can you see what you get? Um, you're gonna get a solution for u, and then you're gonna need to go the next step because you wanna go back to x's. Okay, any questions? So, so what exercise is this from? Eight, uh, Jake, D? 4C, 8D4C, okay? Uh, which is why it's one of the things that's assigned, okay? So, what did I see in this question that maybe you struggled to see at the beginning? Uh, actually, not that much. I tried the same things you guys did, but I quickly realized they weren't giving me anything useful. So then I had to pedal back and think, well, is there another strategy that I can use? Are there weird, weird things in it that maybe I can take advantage of? Make sense?